In addition to effects and group track outputs, it is now also possible to set instrument track and rack outputs as well as sampler track returns directly as inputs for audio tracks. In the input selection menu of an audio track, you can choose from these input sources. Hardware input, groups, effects, sampler tracks, track instruments and rack instruments. This works for mono up to 5.1 surround audio tracks. In Nintendo 13, you can change the channel layout of audio tracks from mono to stereo and vice versa with just one click. This way, applying stereo effects and upmixing to mono audio recordings is now even faster. Same applies to any sound effects that are actually mono but came as stereo files. Just extract one of the channels and switch the track to mono. No need to create a new mono audio track. Importing tracks from other projects or track archives has further been streamlined and extended with new options. You now can restrict the time range of imported events and choose how to deal with existing events on target tracks. There are now three options for importing tracks with events and parts to existing tracks. With the new Import Time Range option, you can determine a specific time range to be imported rather than importing the whole track. Just enter the start and end values or use the locator range. Both the time format and the locator range relate to the main timeline of the currently active project. When importing tracks as new tracks, you can choose if these should be placed beneath the currently selected track or at the bottom of all existing tracks. This can be very helpful when assembling a project from several previous episodes or reels. Conform to unforeseen picture edits, consecutive commercial crescendos or movement variations for specific video game actions, it's often indispensable to have the different video versions at the same timeline position for overview and AB comparison. Behavior and functioning of the track versions for video tracks is similar to other track versions. This also means that you now can switch video track versions in conjunction with any other selected track or tracks with the same track ID. With just one click. It's now possible to inject an audio export directly into the original video file, avoiding time-consuming re-rendering of the video with third-party applications. This makes preparing and sending out editing previews, composing layouts and sound design mockups a lot easier and faster. While tweaking parameters of an audio effect plugin in the direct offline processing window, it's smart to countercheck with the unprocessed sound once in a while. You will hear more and different things. This can now easily be achieved by just holding down the Alt key when clicking on the audition button. It intrigues me and makes me curious about sound. You will hear more and different things. Things you didn't notice when you were actually there. The Bound Selection command has been extended to allow a range selection of an empty section to be rendered as a new silent audio file and corresponding event. For example, to use it as an anchor for other events, to extend the editable range for ARA extensions, or for sound generating direct offline processes. Simply draw a range selection and execute the Bound Selection command. This also works for selections across multiple tracks. The channel layout of the created empty audio files corresponds to the tracks they were created on. Different tasks demand for different playback starting positions to replay a specific section again and again, without having to manually reposition the playhead each time. 
Nuendo 13 adds new options to adjust the playback start position to your needs. These are Start from the current position The cycle start The start of the currently selected event or range selection or a combination of selection and cycle start. Starts from cycle start if nothing is selected, otherwise starts from selection start. In the project window, you now can adjust the heights of all tracks, respectively vertical zoom, with a mouse wheel while holding down command and shift. The Edit Key Commands dialog has been completely overhauled. The new design now follows Nuendo's overall look and feel. Searching for specific commands, assigning and organizing key commands, as well as creating and testing macros, is now more intuitive and faster. With the new Dynamic Filter and Filter Options, you'll find specific commands in no time. Search for Key lets you input a specific key command to show you the command that it's assigned to, or if it's still unused. New commands and macros can now be tested on the fly, without leaving the Edit Key Commands dialog. Additionally, many new commands have been added, including Rename Selected Events, Add Markers on Active Marker Track, and Move Range to Next Hit Point, just to name a few. If you are new to post-production or switching from a different DAW, the new project templates will get you started right away. You'll find comprehensive templates for general post-production from stereo to Dolby Atmos, ADR sessions and for working with immersive formats like MPEG-H, Ambisonics and Dolby Atmos Music. The new and improved Spectral Engine of Spectral Layers 1 now features state-of-the-art AI processing for faster and better results when unmixing vocals. Rest up and wash back the undertone. Let the moon 